Aaron served in both Afghanistan and Iraq. His last tour ended when his Humvee flipped in a firefight. My back was wrecked. My lower back, I had three herniated discs. Uh, the middle was ruptured, so it was unsalvageable. Aaron also suffered from hearing loss and serious emotional issues. Anger, aggression, you know, problems sleeping, mild paranoia, I would say. After his back surgery, the VA denied Aaron's disability claims. There's a lot of jobs in the world that I can't have because I can't be on my feet all day. And I even wanted to go back into the military and be a, a jet pilot, and they wouldn't let me because they said I was too disabled. But on the other hand, they won't pay me for my, my back problem. Aaron sought help from Public Counsel's Center for Veterans Advancement. Public Counsel is very invested in helping our returning veterans receive the benefits that they're entitled to and that they're going to get some kind of supportive services to avoid poverty. The system, the bureaucracy is so complex and intricate that it's hard to figure it all out on your own. So he came to us for assistance and we reviewed the file and found that you know he was eligible for quite a few of the benefits. Thanks to public counsel, Aaron is now receiving additional compensation for some, but not all of his disabilities. And I can tell that he's trying to take it all the way to Washington, which is fine with me, because that's where it needs to be. If that's what we have to do to get things done, well, that's what we have to do. We're going to continue providing the services he needs to get the full benefits he's entitled to. Uh, he fought for this country. He fought for our privilege to be here and providing him with the resources to help him get employment, to help him get the compensation that he was entitled to, helped move him on. I've served the country. I've, I've, I've had friends die right next to me, you know, and I've given up a part of my body and I go through chronic back pain every day. I'm just asking for justice to be done.